Hi everybody, welcome to my channel, my name's Dennis. So today's video is going to go back to when I first installed the Ryzen 7 3800X. I did the installation, all that kind of good stuff, but at the time I didn't do the temperatures. So this video is just going to show you what the temperatures are uh, using the Wraith stock cooler, the Wraith Prism. And just give you an overview of how it's all working after I've been using the system for a while and whether temperatures are staying where they need to be or are they running too hot and uh, then I'll give you some more details after that. Here we go. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to run Cinebench R20 and see how the 3800X performs. So I know you all have uh, seen this before, but here's a good chance to see it again with the 3800X. We'll just let this go. You can see on the left hand side up here how it compares with other processors just in case you're interested. And we'll see how this one performs. This is doing its first pass. All right, so we're done and up here you can see our CPU score of 4623. So not too shabby. So we're gonna minimize that. We're gonna bring up our um, HW monitor to show you what the temperature are at right now. So it's not being utilized by very much, of course, what it's doing. And our temperatures are set at 33 degrees. Okay. Well, 91 Fahrenheit, but you know what I'm saying. Okay, here's what our fans are going at. They're pretty high up there. And there's our utilization for memory. And there's our 3800 voltages. Just so you can have a look in case you're interested in that. All right, I'm just going to show you the whole thing just... To give you a bit of more information than normally uh, I have time for in some of these videos. All right. And that's pretty much it. So now we're going to move on. I'm just going to minimize this again. And we're going to bring up one more program. Okay, so now we're going to go and we're going to use ADA64. This is the trial version because I just keep using it over and over and uh, I've got the licensed version somewhere. I had three of them, and apparently after a year they expire. So, since I don't use them that often, I have not renewed it yet. So we'll do that after. So right now, we're going to run this. We're going to start the test here. We're going to run it 100% utilization, and we'll see what happens from there. And I've got the uh, CPU ID monitor open over here, so we can have a comparison. And we're going to start. And so now we're up to 100% utilization over here. And we've already shot up to 75. Now I know this stock cooler does not have great temps. That's a fact. But I am going to be replacing it. I just haven't done that yet. So we'll let this run for a while. See what we get. And then we're going to have a look over here and compare our temperatures and see what happens on the other side as well. So now we can see right now. Some of the temperatures are already rising. Okay, so just keep an eye on that. But this is the one that really matters, is this one right here. And uh, yeah, we'll let it run. Gotta let it run for a good five minutes at least and see how it goes. So, I mean, you can see right now it's, it's peaking at 83. Uh, I don't expect it to go any higher than that. But if it does, I will show you. So, I'll get back to you momentarily. Okay, so we're still running. And I've gone down to here, so you can see that the comparisons between here and here pretty much staying pretty close to the same. And the utilization is showing 100% on all cores. And uh, continuing on. Okay, we're back now. We're at the five minute mark. And we had a spike there at 83, but we're pretty much staying consistently around 80 uh, degrees. And it's coinciding over here with temperatures. Uh, at 80 as well and 100% utilization so um, it's pretty typical of how everything has been working um, so I'm going to stop the test here and if you pay attention over here okay you'll be able to see this temperature how quickly uh, they drop so I'm going to stop and you'll be able to see it here as well too of course but it'll drop down to basically no utilization 
and it starts to drop here and it starts to drop here it's already at 62 uh dropping to 60 there you can see them both dropping really quickly so under normal usage not an issue at all but one of the things i didn't do uh previously was show you a uh, the fps and some of the games and how it can handle them so we're going to do that next Okay, so in the top left hand corner of the screen, you can see the GPU temperature, memory that's being used, the CPU, the RAM, and the frame rate. Okay, so it's pretty good. Well, we're going to play a little bit of the game, show you just how smooth everything works, and we'll continue from there. But keep an eye on that left hand screen, and you are going to see pretty much way things are working here right now it's a pretty cool game i gotta say i got the sound turned down because it's the last thing i need is copyright strikes or crap like that who oh, shoot me who oh, shoot me There we go. Yeah. Anyway, you get the idea. I haven't played this game in a long time, but anyhow. Up here, top of the screen, like, if you can get that kind of FPS in a game this size, that is really graphics intensive well I think you're good to go okay so we'll have another quick look at Shadow of the Tomb Raider again top uh, left of the screen you can see 62 degrees for the GPU 62 for the CPU using about 7 megabyte of RAM and we're at anywhere from up to 400 some uh, FPS so I mean that's pretty crazy so I just want to quickly show you some of these uh, games and what they're capable of doing in the games when they're being played. So we'll let this load and we'll show you. So there's a quick look at our game uh, for Shadow of the Tomb Raider. You can guys you got a quick look at that. All right, everybody. So if you saw that video, you saw uh, testing the temperatures, putting it under 100% load with the 8 to 64 extreme, and the FPS that can go along with uh, uh, Metro Redux. So that's a pretty graphics intensive game. Uh, we're getting massive FPS. Now, a lot of that has to do with graphics card, but a lot of it has to do with the CPU. So, you could see the CPU, you could see all the stats on the top left corner there. Um, so, that's just a quick overview of the 3800X and what it's capable of using the stock cooler I might add. So, it gets up to about 83, levels off around 80, but once it's not under like full load, really respectable temperatures, and uh, plays games great, which of course we would expect it to. So if you like this video, hit that like. If you don't, you know what to do. Hit that bell for future notifications. And thanks for watching. Till next time.